Now, speaking of flying, a lot of folks trying to get to the West Coast, as we've been talking about. Uh, a lot of folks from here heading out to uh, Southern California for the game on Monday. And California has been getting hit with the rain, rounds of rain and storms over the past few days. That atmospheric river continues to bring that moisture into the Pacific and out across California. So flooding is going to be a big concern. A little bit of a lull across the area here this morning, but the uh, next round of showers will be moving in. So the uh, rough surf, the uh, strong winds, the uh, rain flooding, life threatening uh, flooding in. Uh, those areas as, as, as well. So San Francisco, the Bay Area down into Southern California catching a break from the rain, but they will have another round of showers moving in as we take a look at the time cast from that area. You see San Francisco is going to get uh, get hit again late tonight, early tomorrow with the next round of rain moving into the area there. So that's going to aggravate the flooding issues. And once we get into those interior sections, we're talking about more heavy snow for some areas and look at the next wave of showers that moves in Saturday night going into early on Sunday. So the rain will continue even down into Southern California. As we get into the weekend, it looks like that will be the case for the first part of next week, even as we head on into a Monday as well. That next round of rain moving in after midnight, heading on into Monday morning. So we're still talking about the rounds of showers moving in and still looking at that flooding all up and down the coast uh, from the Bay Area areas north, heading down into Southern California. And we're talking about anywhere from 15 to 20 inches of rain still in those areas with the uh, snow going to be piling up in those interior sections as well. But we'll talk more about what we can expect locally here as we get into the weekend coming up. But now